All right, so I got some fresh wood chips today. Had some tree work done on my property. And I'm going to be inoculating a bed of wood chips with wine cap strafaria mycelium. I've already started the I've already started the spawn run in my basement in a um, tub and I've grown that out for the past few months and it's ready to go. I actually did half of this bed already but the mulch that I used was not very fresh so I'm not sure if it's going to take off the way I wanted it to so I left half of the bed for when I got some fresh wood chips because you're really supposed to use fresh hardwood chips. So let me get the rest of my stuff together and I'll show you what's next. So this is my tub that I was talking about. As you can see the uh, mycelium's running across the uh, mixture of straw and wood chips that I had. It's getting really thick and eating it up and I think it's ready to go into my beds. Uh, I'm gonna mix it with some straw. This is the same straw that I use for my oyster mushrooms that I grow in my basement. And I'm gonna use this too. I was trying to grow out some more mycelium in this. I haven't seen a lot of action but maybe it'll maybe it'll take off but it doesn't hurt to go in there. So I'm gonna lay this down first and then I'm gonna cover it with wood chips. Alright so I just spread the mycelium and wood chips across the cardboard and save myself a little bit in my tub because I want to also try to make another bed in my yard somewhere else. I got a lot of wood chips and it doesn't hurt to try a couple different spots. You don't want to put all your eggs in one basket, you know. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to sprinkle some of the straw on it because it's nice and thin and chopped and the mushroom mycelium really likes to eat up that straw, so it will should help it take off and then jump off onto the, the fresh wood chips. So I finished spreading the straw out on top of my uh, mycelium and now I'm gonna start covering that with wood chips probably I'm gonna go pretty heavy probably about four to five inches of wood chips on top of this bed. Uh, these are hardwood maple maple wood chips that I had. Uh, you don't want to use anything like pine because uh, that the mushrooms don't like growing on pine. All right I'm gonna show you what it looks like once I'm done loading up the chips. All right so I just uh, finished putting the wood chips on my bed. It was about eight wheelbarrows full of wood chips and the last thing I'm going to do is I'm just gonna Soak it down with water, keep those wood chips nice and moist. Uh, might not even need to do it tonight because it's going to rain, but probably give it a little bit just in case we get a light rain instead. And I'm excited. Hope you guys are excited to see my progress with this. The only thing is it's probably going to take a long time. Uh, these mushrooms, from what I'm told, might not even pop up until next year. Um, we're in April right now in New York. I'm hoping that I might see some mushrooms popping up by by the end of the season, maybe November. Cross my fingers, but well, we'll see what happens. This is the first time I've I've grown wine caps of area uh, outdoors myself. Hey guys, I hope you liked that video. Make sure you let me know what you think in the comments and uh, give it a thumbs up. I'm really enjoying making these videos, you know, about the food I love and I'm looking forward to making more videos uh, to share with you guys. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to help me out, help me build this channel and uh, have a good day guys.